This is my old Asus R2H uh, UMPC. It's got a 900 megahertz Celeron processor and 768 megabytes of RAM. Um, it was I got it in 2007, but it was actually came on the market in like December 2006. It's one of the very first tablet PCs, definitely in this form factor, outside of that little Sony one that came with the keyboard. Anyway, this is Windows 8 running on it, and it actually runs better than Windows XP used to run on the, the uh, but the buttons all work except for the specific application buttons off to the sides, and uh, the webcam works. The Wi-Fi and Bluetooth work, but the, the icons aren't working. I'm sure that could be made to work, but I'm really impressed, actually. Um, the only thing that isn't quite working properly is the display adapter, but still it's, it's running as fast as it ever did with XP and Arrow. It has a, a 60 gig uh, tiny hard drive, like the hard drives they used to put in iPods. You can look, the CPU is very slow, 0.9 gigahertz. But memory usage is actually fairly good. I mean, we're running with one tab open and we still have 361 megabytes available. So you could run applications on this and this is much better usage than uh, good old Windows XP on this same device. And it, as far as inputs with text and such, um, it works much better than XP2. It works more like Android, actually. So, And this does work if you use your fingernail for touching. Um, flash isn't very fast on this. I, I'm sure a video driver could be made to make it a little bit better, but full screen flash uh, isn't that great. But you have to remember this thing is from early 2007, late 2006, and the fact that it's running Windows 8 fairly decently is pretty impressive. And the fingerprint reader works up here. But these are, if you haven't ever played with one, this has got a, a mouse built into. And all these things I've, I've gotten working. It's sort of like a keypad or a d-pad for the device. If I had some other programs loaded on this, I'd show you how it runs, but um, as you can see, it's uh, not bad for what it is. not bad for something that should be horribly, horribly slow. And it's, it's definitely not fast, but if you have one of these lying around and you haven't used it in a while, which you probably don't, or you probably have never seen one of these out in the, the wild before, but if you do, or if someone gives you one, it does run Windows 8, and it actually does a fairly decent job of it, better than uh, XP that it came with.